Growing up, I was a little rough around the edges, even as a young man. Uh, as I grew up as a child and into young adulthood, uh, I grew up in poverty and I did what I had to do to survive. And through all that, I went to college. I became a teacher. I taught high school for 20 years in some of the roughest neighborhoods in the world. But yet, I am the enemy. Somehow, I have become the enemy. Um, I've spent my life teaching children. I've spent my life raising a family. I've spent my life worshiping God, paying my taxes, obeying the law. But yet, I'm the enemy. Why am I the enemy? That's what we're going to talk about today because for the last few years, it seems like I'm the enemy. If I go to a party and I'm having a conversation about what it is I do for a living, once I say I make God, Family, and Guns videos, people just lose their mind. Suddenly, it's almost like I said um, I murder puppies. Um, it, it's, it's just appalling. Now, the other piece is uh, we're getting punished by uh, different media outlets, uh, YouTube, I'm sure, will demonetize this video. I'm making half as much as I made last year on YouTube because of all the demonetization, um, much of which is just spiritual content. So here's the three reasons why I am the enemy, because me raising a family and worshiping God and being a teacher and making YouTube videos is clearly upsetting a lot of people. So why? Well, let's look at three reasons. Number one, I worship God. People hate that. There are a huge population of people that just can't stand the fact that I love God, that I talk about Him in confidence, that I talk about Him in boldness. They can't stand it. Uh, it makes them angry. Sometimes it makes them threaten violence, um, but they just can't stand it. And it's, it's costing People who worship God are finding that there's more and more people around them that just don't like them because of it. The second reason is because I believe in the Second Amendment and I talk about guns. How dare I talk about the Constitution and the Second Amendment? How dare I talk about defending my family and my neighbors and my loved ones? It's appalling just to think that I would stand up for the right of self-preservation of life. Uh, people are just absolutely appalled by it, and as a result, it's costing me. It's costing me. Um, all my videos are getting demonetized. Facebook won't let me boost any posts. Uh, you know, nobody will let you do anything if you're talking about guns, because if you talk about guns, you are the enemy. You are the enemy, not the criminals, me and you. Uh, so I talk about God. I talk about guns. Both those things make me the enemy. But the final thing is, is that I speak the truth. I, I'm, I've never been afraid to say what I think. Uh, even when I was a kid, I remember kind of noting that. Like, I kind of find myself getting in trouble every now and then because I just say what I think. It's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> I've done it since I was a kid. And I've only gotten more bold in it as I've fallen more and more in love with my Heavenly Father. So I tell the truth, at least what I believe to be the truth. And if I find that I'm wrong, I say I'm wrong. So why am I the enemy? Because I love God. I love the country and our constitutional rights. And I tell the truth best I can. That's what makes me the enemy. There is a huge population of this country that absolutely can't stand that. They can't stand that. As a matter of fact, they say that you're harming the country, that you're actually causing problems for the country, that we should make efforts to pass laws against people like me. We should make efforts to, to you know, ban the things that you use to protect your family. And when you speak about it, we should make efforts to shut you up because you and me, we're the enemy. We love God, we love our guns, and we speak the truth. And it makes us an enemy of the state. It's, it's only getting worse, too. You know, you would have told me 10 years ago that if I love our country and I love God and I love my family, that that will literally make me the enemy of, of majority of Americans. I don't even know what to say. You know, I was at a party recently with my wife. Um, and somebody asked what I did, and I said, I make YouTube videos. And they said, oh, what's, what's your channel? 
And my wife actually cut me off because she knew what was coming and she said, oh, he makes car videos and he makes some history of weapons videos. Um, and he's got another channel too. Um, because it's getting to her as well. Um, it's taking its toll. But you know what? I don't care. I am going to stand here and I'm going to talk about God. I'm going to talk about guns and I'm going to tell you the truth of what I think. And, you know, if for some reason it gets shut down here, because we've already had our money shut down mostly, but if it gets shut down here, we're just going to go somewhere else because even if nobody speaks, the rocks will cry out and glorify God and worship Him. It's just that you can't silence it, nor will I, you know, because here's the thing, there's going to be a day where we're going to have to go through real tribulation, and if for some reason... Um, I can't stand uh, YouTube's policies and it breaks me down to quit talking about God. Uh, yeah, I'm not ready for tribulation. <laughs> so I'm going to keep talking. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to talk more. I was making one video a day. I'm going to start doing two a day because you're not going to shut me up. You're not going to shut me up. Period. Uh, why am I the enemy? I love God. I love my family. I love guns. And I speak the truth. So here's this guy, taxpayer, teacher, um, family man, um, doesn't break the law, <laughs> not a criminal, but yet here I am, the enemy. Uh, very strange. Um, any thoughts or insight on any of that, definitely put that below. If you feel like supporting this channel through Patreon, please consider that. That link is below as well. We're posting more there because of the demonetizations that's taking place on YouTube than ever before. So. Uh, if you feel called, please support us on Patreon. Uh, but other than that, we take prayer requests. It's the most important part of this channel. It's from the very beginning we've been doing this, and we're never going to stop doing that either. Uh, they, they can't stop you from praying. Uh, so leave that request. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God. Love your family. Love guns.